and Elder Advisors. With me is Larry Weiss, the president and CEO and the founder, and Steve Langdon as well. You know, if you have a senior loved one and they're transitioning from home to an assisted living facility, it can be challenging. It can be challenging financially, legally, and most importantly, emotionally. And they cover all those bases we with do. Elder Advisors. Don't go broke in a nursing do home. Don't go broke Don't go broke in a nursing home. Don't do it. Larry, Larry, we were talking before we began the show, obviously. I had a little conversation going on with Larry. Well, I, mean, I just apologize. I'm with you off camera. It's okay. Yeah, we, we chat Calm a little down. bit. Calm down. It's live television. I'm here, John. <laughs> Bring it down, you're fine. I appreciate what you do because we were talking about the fact that you really don't have competition. No. There are We uh, are the competition. They're we elder, have no competition. That's right. They're elder lawyers. There are people who deal with that. There are people who deal in real estate. There are people who actually can help you emotionally with a transition, but you guys actually do all of that. Well, we do, John. It's a very tough concept when we're dealing with families that have a loved one in a nursing home or about to go. What Elder Advisors does is we help families transition their loved ones from their homes to home health care, assisted living, or long-term care using financial and legal strategies to protect assets so they don't go broke in a nursing home. It is never too late, Kentucky. And that's why we're doing our workshops next week. Come out to workshops. We're delighted to have Steve Langdon, our keynote speaker, McNeely I Stevenson love that. Law Firm. Keynote. You are keynote in my yeah. heart personally <laughs> and certainly professionally. I don't we, love that. We always need a legal component <laughs> because no one really does what Elder Advisors does. And first of all, I have to give a couple of shout outs. Carmen, you need to move on. Okay, I'm married. 32 years, Carmen, move on. Okay, so that was for Carmen. Okay, and Carmen. also for Bill and Marcy Lisak. Bill really takes pride in his work as a custodian at Vandalay Industries. So good for you. <laughs> Mop the floor, Bill, custodian, Vandalay Industries. I think you're gonna get promoted here in Louisville. But back to the subject at hand. I love what I do. Can you tell? I am blessed. I'm truly having the time of my life. I got five great people that work with me every day. But for that to be successful at Elder Advisors, we need to be able to have a legal component. And Steve Lang and Neely Stevenson does that because anytime we're protecting assets, because for husband and wife, if one spouse goes in, John, we can protect all the assets. That's worth repeating. I'm sorry. All husband of the wife, assets. All the assets. Because Steve uses what he calls the legal exceptions to do that. For a single person, we can protect half of the assets. Well, that's a whole lot better than nothing. And people in Kentucky and forget about the barbershop law, forget about the beauty shop law, which you've been told is usually always wrong. Maybe well intention, but it's wrong. But we always need the skill set of Steve Lang and Neely Stevenson to hold the state to task so that we are approved for those benefit strategies that we develop so families don't go broken in nursing home. Steve, and I want you to stress, I know you're the keynote speaker here, but I want you to stress it either. is important to go keynote. to these keynote. workshops mm -hmm. because oh, yeah. if you're someone who plans, you need to be proactive because when it happens, don't get me wrong, it's never too late. No. Right. But on the other hand, you're going to be a lot happier if you know exactly what steps to take. It's going to give you peace of mind and you'll know you're doing the right thing for your senior well, you loved got, one. Right. You have to have the knowledge. And, and that's the opportunity is to come in and sit down and get a chance to ask questions, learn a little bit about the process, get some knowledge behind it, so when the crisis hit, and, and frankly, the crisis is almost always gonna hit for a family, right? It's gonna be somebody in the family that things go, go wrong medically, and we're looking at a nursing home situation. You just gotta be prepared for it, and that's free knowledge for you. Because, you know, you mentioned a moment ago, and by the way, you are Kentucky and it's favorite TV personality because of your insight, your wit, your knowledge. Kentucky in it, never doubt me. Okay, because just a moment ago you said something earlier because there is a financial component, but there's also an emotional component. Mm. One of the first questions, or one of the last questions I asked families, I had a gentleman this morning who's coming back this afternoon, I had a lady that's a school teacher, uh, Parkwood, mm -hmm. right, in Clarksville. Yep. Yep, she yep. came over at six o'clock last night at referral and I asked both of them, as I do everybody, one of the last questions I asked is, do you feel at least better now than you did 20 minutes ago when you came in the office. I'm like, oh, I just feel so much better. Because that's part of what we do. And that's something you really can't, you know, quantify or just dial in on. It's the stress. Because now they know there's people they can call. Certainly on the financial, mm -hmm. what do I do? The nursing home wants me to sign some form. Don't do it, this or that. And we work with that. So families just take the stress, take that stress off. Because otherwise, they're kind of on their own navigating through this. I had a gentleman, and you were talking uh, before the show, you know, a little pre-programming pre discussion in the green room. By the way, the, the green room, it needs some new M&Ms, they're kind of nasty. <laughs> uh, Gareth, my publicist, would do anything about it, but you know, he pays lip service. Sure. Oh, Larry, you're important to me. No, he's not, he doesn't say it. But in any event, uh, the gentleman came in yesterday. He brought his wife in, clearly has dementia. The poor lady could sit there. And I started asking him, I said, I'm willing to bet your wife is here, because I had to kind of have a heart to heart with him. I said, I'm willing to bet your wife is here because you can't leave her alone at home. Well, no, I can't. 
Well, that's telling me we need placement. If you can't leave this poor dear soul alone. So we were talking and said, well, I'm just, you know, I don't, no, and no one does, Kentucky, and no one wants to deal with this as far as placement. And that's right. one of the things that Denise really excels at because she holds the family's hands. That's part of what the law firm does not do. That's not their bailiwick. That's not what they do. Their law, papers, numbers. So we kind of do that, we fill that void. That's why, you know, there is no competition. We are the competition. We're There's so many people. questions. Right, and a lot of things that people wouldn't think about when they're at the law mm -hmm. office and stuff. So we hold families' hands, but I asked the gentleman, I said, sir, what happens when the police, the county sheriff shows up? Well, they were out the last time. And I said, wait a minute, <laughs> they've been out there more than once? Well, they've been out about three times, and I, I'm like, you know, but you know what it is? Love makes you make weird decisions, but yeah. that's why you need professionals. Yeah. And please get in front of it because we talk yeah. about power of attorney. Yeah. We talk about he real estate. He has no power of attorney, Kentucky Anna. Uh, He's been married 32 years. My lovely wife, Liz Carmen, that's why I have to move on, Carmen. My wife, I've been married 32 years. This gentleman's been married 32 years as well. No power of attorney. Yeah. Would it's you, just incredible. Would so, you agree with this, though, Steve, because you deal with these people? If you wait too long and then emotions start getting involved because you have a dire situation, yeah. if you can do it with a clear head, it would probably help you as makes, well. Makes everything yeah. easier. But what I find, too, is that people, th this is a slow process. They kind of fall into it, and they get mired in the mud. And they don't know the answers. They don't know where to go to get the answers. And they're just And they're it's a moving target. They're it's just a stuck. Yeah, and it's a moving target. The rules change. The yeah. laws change. Right. And you guys are aware of all of that. Okay, these workshops, all yeah. of your questions can be answered on any level, whether it's legally, about real estate, financially, and yes, emotionally. I do know this. These folks care. They genuinely care. Love you got involved because your brother yeah. had an incident. Yeah. You got involved because you saw, hey, there's a lot of people out there are hurting. They need some right. answers. If I can take care of all this, surround myself with professionals, right. then I can accomplish a lot with Elder Advisors. Okay, tell them about the workshop. Freeworkshops.com, Kentucky, and just go to freeworkshop.com. It takes you directly to the website of Elder Advisors to register for the workshops. They're free, and don't forget our delicious keynote speaker is Stephen Langdon, McNeely Stevenson. I mean, just look at this guy. He's dropped dead gorgeous. Come out, see him in person. Delicious. Delicious <laughs> and legal. So you got to say more than hi. I did. Monday night, 6 o'clock, Hilton Garden Inn on Crittenden Drive behind Cardinal Cafe, and Tuesday morning, 10 a.m. at the Hampton Inn off of Veterans Parkway on Broadway. Folks, it is never too late. Do not prejudge your situation. Even if you have a loved one in a nursing home, there's Denise, our secret weapon with elder advisors, former Medicaid supervisor at the Allen Building, spent her career telling people no. Now she's on our side of the fence. Show, oh, I'm sorry, but he's almost as good looking as you are, Steve, Larry Weiss. There we go. So there we go. Yeah, I promise you it will be entertaining. Yep. You want to yes, something? Steve will say more than just hello. Yeah. yeah and, and there is a Q&A session, too. Absolutely. I think that's important. Freeworkshop.com. So, again, whether or not you use them, and I recommend that you do, but you should go to get some answers for your senior loved one and do it if you would. Please be proactive.